I'm not sure. All right, you guys. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm. Gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're back. This might be happening, by the way. Um, actually, you know, it's funny. Someone in chat, they just said, they, they just, they, they said something. It might happen again. They're, they're... Oh, come on. Is it supposed to be bad? No, I mean, I got a sheet that said they might be testing in the building. So I, I hope it's not consistent. I hope that's it. That's it. But I don't know. I knew this might happen though. No, no, I mean, they're testing the alarm system or something. That's what they're doing. So yeah, so we keep going. All right, you guys, let's keep going. So let's go D5 here. All right, let's hope that's it. Hopefully not. But I'm just I'm just going to play the event and I'll use arrows. Hopefully you guys can follow the arrows. That's all I can do really. So sorry sorry about this. <laughs> Danny paid my building managers. No, it's um they're just testing the alarm system. Uh, this is this is quality content. I can see a thumbnail already. <laughs> the fire alarm fire alarm Tuesday. Why do you not talk during it? Well, I just mute mute it because it's so it's so loud, you guys, that I, I don't want you guys to have to deal with it, obviously. Let's go here in A4, maybe. I don't know about five is right, by the way, but it's a move. Let's go here, maybe bishop d5, pressure on the knight. Okay, that looks like a dubious move. I think I'm gonna put my bishop here and then go back to d5, or at least it's my idea. Although maybe a bishop d5 is better right away, I don't know. The good news is I've got a great structure against his pawns. How do I do this though? I can always play f4, I don't want to. I'm gonna go here, try to trade some knights maybe. Trade some knights and get the knight in, because now I get a great outpost. So he goes there. I'm just going to play h5, maybe h4, maybe just try to slowly build this position up. Now I have knight c4 to hit the pawn and the queen and everything, and I think I'm doing well. It's not that loud for you guys? Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, I'm going to go f6 and knight c4 maybe. Can always trade. I think I'm just gonna go back though and take. Oh, he's got knight c5, which I forgot about. Still okay. Chat is trolling. Is it super loud? Okay, it is super loud. Yeah. I guess I just trade and go here. Because now I take the file of knight d2 at some moment as well. I'm going to go h4, g5, f4 at some moment. Okay, let's just go h4, fix the, fix the structure here. He's also in some trouble here because he can't really, he can't move the knight to lose the pawn. His king is stuck on g1. Bishop b1 is kind of a weird move to me. Um, let's go here, maybe knight b3, maybe bishop b3 also is an idea. Knight b6 was probably slightly preferable. I can always go g5. Bishop b3 looks right, though, to take the knight. It's queen d2. It gives me knight c4, but I don't have a good move after that. Okay, let's just... Oh, okay, let's just go 
back and play knight c4, I guess, next move. I've misplayed this quite severely. Let's go here and trade, I guess. I have knight c4 still lurking. Knight c4, maybe f5. Knight c4 is my idea next move. They had an arrow member for the prime. They had a clarity BF for the two. And sting like a bee for the four months. Thank you so much. Sting like a bee. Sting like a bee, float like a butterfly, right? If I win the pawn on B2, I'm doing really well. So, I mean, I should be much better here if I play this correctly. Just go here. Maybe E3 is my idea. One of my ideas. Not the only one, but one of them. Okay, E3 is definitely a move here. I'm going to do it. Just take and go like Bishop D5. Maybe Queen E3. I think I should have actually waited. I think I... I whoa, he goes Bishop E2, which looks kind of dicey to me. But maybe it's a good move. I can go Knight D2 maybe. So if he takes, I just take. And I think this is starting to actually spin out of control for my opponent here. He finds Queen E1. Pretty impressive that he found that. Let's go here and force a trade. All right, hopefully, I mean, I, I'm sorry, you guys. What can I say? Let's go check in Knight C4 here. I'm going to win this game at least. Now I go here and I win the game. Knight covers the square. We get the win. One up, one down. We get a Junger Lake for the 777. Just, just turn off the notification. LOL. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> I, I don't think I, I don't think I can actually. Peter Savidler, is he playing? Um, I don't know if he's playing in this one. Not sure. Daniel's Daniel's playing. Uh, Alireza Dubov is playing. Amin is playing. Bogdan, Big Fish, they're all playing. All right. Um, I maybe play E4, maybe B4 at some moment. I'm not happy with my position, but it's actually, of course, very, very hard to play right now. Yeah, he's got this, which I missed. Who, who is this, by the way? No idea who this is. Um...
Yeah, this is this is too much. Uh, I'm trying I'm trying to play, but I, I might just like I might stop the stream soon because this, this is impossible. I, I can't play like this. Theater rolls around for the five hundred. Best thing is for the prime. Toddy for the tier one, and Sir 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 Sir, Sir Lord for the uh, prime as well. Thank you so much. There's no actual emergency. I know that because they they they, they put out a bulletin. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I literally can't focus. Basically, I'm just like I'm just just making moves. I I can't focus at all. Literally insane. Okay, goes knight c5. I have e4 here. I maybe I have a knight move. I have no good no good knight moves. I do have e4. I mean, I just literally can't focus. So I'm just gonna play e4. I'm sure it's a blunder, but I don't even care. It's gonna take, and I guess I just take with the bishop or something. Maybe I play rook d4 and queen d2 or something. Not sure what I'm gonna do. It shouldn't take that long. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I, I don't know. I think the real MVP for the for the 19 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. It was queen e5. This is how. All right. Okay, let's keep going. All right, maybe it's done. Maybe let's hope it's done. I'm gonna just run my king up here. Really want to go b4. Okay, let's go here. Maybe b4 a5 now. Go here. All right, we got the win. 
the other one, two out of two. I mean, the idea is to play rookie seven if rookie eight and seven. He played a very good game, actually. Um, he was probably better at some point, but then then he uh, kind of collapsed. Thank you to Koala Bear for the 14. Skode Mel for the six as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. If anything, you can... Yeah, it's, it's very loud, you guys. Very, very loud. I mean, I might just leave myself muted for some period until unless it stops for like five or ten minutes, but yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I think the thing is the alarm means it's just like I can't concentrate. It's just like loud blaring while, while I'm playing. So it's like, that's why, that's why I'm, I just, I literally can't, can't focus on the game. I mean, I, I just, I like, I, I can play the game and that's fine. But it's like when it keeps blaring, like literally I can't, I actually can't sit there and think for like 10 seconds. It just keeps going off. Yeah, I mean, the alarm obviously tests perfectly fine. No, but I mean, during the pandemic, you definitely should not do it during work hours. Like you should do it. You should do it in the middle of the night, of course. Um... If you lose CT, sue them. Yeah, good one. But yeah, give us the beeps. It's very loud. It's very annoying. Um, but yeah. I mean, I, I do have noise canceling headphones, but obviously it's it's things. Someone said, "Am I updated on the Ludwig situation? Did I miss something? What happened to Ludwig? Isn't his stream just? Isn't he about to finish his stream, or did I miss? Is there something else going on? Let's go here. I'm gonna go B5 and takes. I don't know if this is right, but it's kind of interesting. Oh, he got more subs, right? But I mean, isn't that pretty obvious? Like, they're not gonna let it end until it's 31 days, obviously. So I don't understand what the big deal is. Goes e4, which I think is a mistake. I have bishop d. Okay, let's not mess this up. I have a good position. I have a good position. Let's not mess this up. Let's go here. Hit the rook. I should have gone rook c8 maybe, but anyway, whatever. Not gonna sack a pawn. Let's just go here and trade. Maybe I just... I really don't want to play F6, but it's maybe... Somehow I need to open up the center. I'm going to go F6 and Knight E5, maybe. Let's go here. Maybe we're in the clear. One can one can hope. No guarantees, though. Let's go here. Maybe Knight F7. Yeah, sorry about that, you guys. Hopefully, Hopefully we're in the clear now. One can only hope. Just gonna gambit juicers here. Waiting for another beep. Not funny, not funny. This night on the rim hurts my eyes. Yeah, the night on the rim is not wonderful on H4. They need a buzz for the three months, they need a tubes for the two, they need a camera. The one good thing, you guys, is that at least I'm winning in this game, fortunately. That's the only good thing, is that I got a winning position quick enough in this game that um that it's not going to matter, thankfully. Thank you, Chubbly Warm, for the two, for the three months. Thank you so much. Uh, what is that beep? It's, just, it's they're, they're, they're testing the fire alarm for some stupid reason. They can't do it in five minutes. It takes them an hour. Um, Okay, let's go Rook B2 and Rook A2 next move. I'm, I'm doing just fine here. I just need to not lose my mind and panic. Let's go back, bring the knight around. First time I've seen him, Hikar actually annoyed. Yeah, I, I don't normally get annoyed. But I'm, I'm pretty annoyed by this. I, I think actually losing losing to someone who does something something uncouth is even, is even less annoying to me than this, honestly. It's just very, very annoying. I'm just going to rotate my knight back around to C5.
shaking but not scared Just the lesson that I've learned And my story told Tables turn when you're all alone When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things you took from me I know that I am so Maybe it's okay. Okay, let's, let's take not mess us up. When I look at what I've done now that we're apart, when I look at what I've won, I've come so far. I know I've so much. Okay, that's a good move. Um, Baby, you don't belong. I'm gonna go here because I have a check on F2. Important that I have this check. If I didn't have this check, I'd, I'd probably be losing. Thank you, Mr. Matt, for the tier one. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, let's see. Bloody f fucking kidding me? A stockfish on Morse code? No, it's not. But yeah, at least I'm on three out of three. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the, the one upside. But yeah, thank you to John C Conway for the two gifted. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Why did I curse like that? Because I'm literally getting, I'm starting to get annoyed now. I love how you curse like a Brit. Uh, I've spent enough time in London. Use the anger to fuel your play? Yeah. <laughs> so someone in chat said I should end my stream and resume later. First of all, we're playing Title Tuesday. There's money on the line. We're playing for money. So, um,. Of course, of course, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop the stream. That's the, that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is, you know, to give you an example, there, the, the, you know, the, a lot of like Serbian players are considered to be really good at blitz, and um, and the reason for that is because. Let's try to play some good chess. No guarantees, you guys. Let's uh let's play this one. Okay, I don't know who this is. Uh thank, thank you for the nine months, K roll. Appreciate it. Okay, go cease. Yeah, this is this is really unbearable. I think I actually was winning in this opening, and I just blundered. I think I think I was just much better, and then I blundered. But whatever. Let's go. Let's go here. Knight a four, I guess, or knight d one. Actually, I can't go knight a four because now he's queen a five. Obviously, of course he's queen a five, and and I can also just play knight d one. Maybe I'll just go knight d one and knight d four. Maybe an f three. Just keep the sound on. Yeah. Okay, but that's actually slightly wrong somehow, I feel like. There should be something here. Maybe like A3. Bobby Fisher wouldn't play in these conditions. <laughs> Very funny, you guys. Thank you. 
The only good thing is I'm winning here out of the opening. It's the only good thing here. <laughs> Thank you, Shell, for the 12 dollars for the 3 and Braveheart NYC for the Prime. The good news is I'm winning this game. But I'm going to take a break. We, we have a six minute break after this round. I'm going to take a break, clear my head. I'll be back in like five or six minutes. Um, and we'll, we'll keep going, but I'm just going to clear my head. So I'll be right back. Go to Starbucks for your appointment. Right. <laughs> oh, serving player players. Yeah. I was just saying that basically in the nineties with all the, all the war, wars and everything going on, like I know some players who are like, I and they just, they love blitz. Cause like during those times, literally they had bombs falling around them and they just kept playing blitz chess. So they have like the iron concentration. So like, there's nothing that will like make them like less focused when, when when they're playing blitz blitz chess. Okay, good. Maybe okay. Let's go. Maybe Shark Dota Cap for the two months. Air at Mage again for the 10 bucks. Appreciate it. Thank you. It That doesn't make it much quieter. Actually, during, during my short break, I, I I actually checked that. Tilted him into playing skin. He didn't really tilt me. Trying to defend my position here, knight g6, maybe rook d4. I'm probably okay. I, I I don't know if I can win this, but I'm definitely not worse here. So yeah, he does have rook f6, but then I just take the knight. So it's it's kind of it's complicated, but I think I'm relatively speaking doing okay here, especially if I get knight d5 here.
Why did he resign? I mean, there are multiple moves. It's minus 10 and a half with which move, though? Knight d3 or, or which one? Knight, knight g3 maybe is the right move because takes or knight d3. I wasn't sure. I mean, I also saw knight f3 and just this, 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 which I guess is also winning, but wasn't sure. But yeah, anyway, whatever. It's a, it's a win. It's we, we go to five out of five, which is a nice quick win at least. Okay, this is what, round six. Let's play e
You get the W, uh, six out, six out of six. Um, pr pretty good stuff. Ali Reza wins too. Um, five, five more to go. Tough game. He was too slow. He was just way too slow at the end there.
got the draw somehow miracle draw I don't really know how I got that draw but I did yeah I don't know how I drew that game somehow already around here was complicated no he missed a win all right so I mean I get the draw despite being completely lost so it's it's not bad at least I can live with it but yeah okay this is round eight All right, you guys, it's it's a draw. We move on. We got a break now. I'll be back. I'll be back. They've tested for like an hour and a half, and yeah, they've been testing for like an hour and a half. Like I'm literally like that. Danya game was a good example. Why not a double blonde cloud? Very funny. But I'm gonna take a break. I'll be back. Okay, you guys. Um, you're asking probably. First of all, I'm eating pasta with just some meat. Um, just took it out of the fridge. Um, secondly, what I was gonna say is that. Is hard enough playing Ollie Reza as is. Like I'm not. I, I'm gonna take my. I'd rather take my odds um, against somebody else uh, with a fire alarm going off than against Ali Reza. Is basically what it is. I figure I, if, if it's even if it's with Black, my odds of beating someone who's like 28, 2900 with Black um, with a fire alarm going off are, are better than beating Ali Reza um, with White and a fire alarm going off. So I'd rather gamble at all, considering considering there's a fire alarm, you know, just going off nonstop. So I'd rather gamble against somebody else, not Ali Reza. That's that's the reason. Uh, I don't think I can disable. And secondly, as I said, I think that's illegal if you do that. But anyway, yeah, that, that's that's the main reason. It's just like I the Danny game, I really got very lucky in. I should have lost that game. So I'm not going to gamble. It's just simple, simple, simple odds. So with such distractions, I mean... There, there's just no way that I that I, that I that I that I would probably win there. Oh no, it's not excuse. I'm just gonna play the odds here. Normally, I pro in that situation, normally I would I probably try there actually, just like I did last week. I probably try, but I, I'm literally like the the position I the position I had against Dania, and then like I just literally like that. The, the problem is that like against Ali Rez and Dania specifically. There are probably going to be moments where I need to think for like 10 seconds or 15 seconds. And with an alarm going off, it's like I literally just cannot. I mean, I just, I mean, maybe I can use 15 seconds, but I can't think during that, during that time period. So yeah, it's just one of those things. Okay, this is a must win for me. Uh, a draw, maybe I can sneak into like second or third, but I am, I'm, I'm going to go for, um, let's do, I don't, I don't know if I should do this or play traditional G6, but I'm going to do this. plays rook b1 um <clears throat> same line or not i know he wants to go b4 Okay, let's just go I think Bishop e6 is a move I know f5 is always a move here I know f5 here might be the best move it's probably wrong but I'm gonna play it anyway it feels wrong but I'm not sure because d4 I have e4 always if Bishop e6 he had d4 himself so that's why I play it like this There was some stream audio in your alarm sound. Very funny. <sighs> okay, it does go rook c1. So, I mean, I have bishop f6 and bishop e6. I think bishop e6 is right, though. It looks right. He plays a3. I do have a4 and some... Ga There's some gambit line with e4, but I don't remember how it goes here with a4 takes, 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 and like e4 and f4. 
but I don't remember exactly. He wasted a tempo with rook b1, c1, so this has to be fine for me because a5 benefited me. I think I'm just gonna play here. It seems reasonable. I think I might have had this against Levon Aroni in action in a, in a in a game before in Moscow, in like 20, 2011 maybe. I feel like there was some a4 line, but I just don't remember how it goes. Okay, now though I get knight d4. Oh, wait, no, I don't have knight d4. Wait, I have a4, or do I just go f4? I think this is supposed to be okay. He, I don't know if he really intends to take or not. That's what I'm not sure of. Okay, a4 is not a move. f4 is a move. It's not a great move, but I think it's actually a decent move. No, it's not a good move. Um, Let's just go here. I'm going to do something a little bit peculiar. So if he takes, he he opens up the line. If he takes, I just take. I'll pre-move it because I think it's a safe pre-move. Have knight d4, maybe b5. b4 takes, 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 takes. I need to win the game. That's actually the biggest problem here. Is that like I can't just play. I think knight d4 and b5 is objectively the best move, but after e3, queen d1, b4 takes. It would have been headed for a draw, and I cannot, I cannot draw this game. So if I, I, I'd rather lose than draw this game. It's going to be a win or a loss. I play for that no matter what. I thought I had ninety four here. Did he miss b five? Maybe a ninety two. I think he missed b five and ninety two, because now it's probably very dangerous, for Roy. He clearly missed b five. Hundred percent, he misses b five lever. Thank you to Robert E for the 300 bits. Okay, that looks terrible. I should be in the driver's seat here. I just have to be careful how I play this. I should be in the driver's seat. I just need to really think here. So let's just go for it. Why not? This might be good, actually. This looks quite good for me. I mean, knight d2 is a move, but then b4. I think he has to go knight. Wait, knight d3, b4 might just be win. Wait, wait, knight d3, b4 might just be winning because take takes here. I just take and I get a fork. Oh, this might just be losing if he moves knight. He might have to go e3, but then takes and takes looks awful. He resigns. Yes, let's go. Okay, we get the dub. Let's watch Ali Reza versus Danya. Or wait, it, no, it's not. Uh, this looks like a draw. Actually, Ali Reza is going to draw the game here. Maybe Robert E for the 300 bits. Looks like it's going to be a draw here. There's knight e6 maybe. and we're, oh, Uh-oh, wait, knight e6. Should be a draw. I think knight e6 first was a much better move. This definitely is not winning for white with correct play, but I don't like what black has done here. Although rookie eight's a nice move to move the knight and then the king. There's rookie h7. King f8 should still be a draw, as should rook g8. <clears throat> rook g8's a good move as well. I think just g6, rook g7 is a draw. There's bishop f5, king f6. Takes. Yeah, this should be a draw with knight f5 now. Yeah, this is just going to be a draw, I think. Why is Ali Reza offering... What? Okay, I guess. Yeah, 98, 96. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, you guys, here's another example. See? Here's a perfect example of the draw in effect. So you see what happens is Ali, Ali Reza, not Ali Reza, sorry. Black offers a draw, or no, sorry. Ali Reza offers a draw, his opponent misses it. And then, then his opponent misses it in the half move. And the next move, Ali Reza offers a draw back. Or sorry, Ali Reza missed it. And then, then they just draw. So yeah, it's, again, just, just pretty standard stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how you're supposed to do it. I missed the alarm already. <laughs> no, the alarm better not go off again. It better not go off. 
that alarm goes off, I'm literally going to break something. It really better not go off again. <laughs> okay, so I play a lecturer who drew Ali Reza last game. Who is this? I have no idea. Who is this dude? Oh, Priz Derojny. Okay, I know who he is. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna be semi-solid. He wants to do this one. Okay, I can go Bishop C5. I think I'm just going to play this, though. Let's do this in bishop b4 probably i could play the uh i could play the uh the wesley variation maybe i'll do the wesley variation with bishop e7 castles i think d6 is correct <clears throat> okay i think i just go knight bd7 i have knight c5 d5 bishop d6 also a really good way to play Okay, does that? I can play d5 and bishop d6 if I want. I don't know if it's good, but objectively it looks right, so I'm gonna play it. This might be wrong, but objectively it looks right. Because knight f1, rook e8, or knight f1, h6 rather. It looks right objectively. Play h6 or rook e8. I think I play h6. Now I go rook e8, knight f5, bishop f8, and it looks looks pretty stable here. Maybe I'm missing something, but it looks stable. Wesley is in chat. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, goes knight h4. So, I mean, I can play bishop f8. I can... I mean, bishop f8 seems like the right move just to get the bishop out of the way. So I can go knight c5 and bishop e6. I should be just fine. I mean, I guess he's going all in with knight f5. Yeah, he is. Okay, so I can take. I can also go knight c5 here. I'm going to go here. Probably I just take. I could have traded right away. I can still trade. I can also go bishop e6 here. This looks fine, so I can still take. I also am threatening to trade the bishops on the diagonal so that whenever I take... There's, uh, there's no pressure towards my king. Okay, just go bishop e3. So I can obviously take... Uh, he has some trick with rook d1. That's what, he's ban that's what he's banking on. I can go d4 here. Don't really want to play it. I can also just move my knight back, I guess. I can also go knight a4, maybe. Don't really like knight a4, but it looks weird enough that I'm going to do it. Because he can't push. And if he goes here, he always has to deal with problems over here. I also have d4 and fe6. Like, his knights are either really good or really bad here. I don't even know if this is good, really. But it looks it looks okay. Okay, good. Actually, that's a good... That's maybe a good move. Hmm. Okay, let's go back. It's just going to go back, and then I have to come with a move. I guess... I'm just going to play a5 here. Again, he still can't move the rooks of d4. So this bishop on a2 is really a problem for, for white, I feel like. Maybe I just... Do I keep expand? h3 doesn't really do anything, because takes, I just take. I should be doing fine here. I, I like my position. He does take. It goes to so take with a pawn and play e4 or not is also a question. If I take, though, he can take. So I guess I... Because takes, I just take. I'm guarding everything. If d4, I go e4. I'm definitely okay here. I don't know if I'm doing great, but I'm okay for sure. I can take and play d4. I can also go rook a6 maybe for... No, rook a6 he takes. So I can also go e4. I know I'm okay. I just have to not panic. But then he has d4. I got to find some way to make this messy. Hmm. I don't really want to do this, but I'm going to do it. You can take and take. I mean, I want to go rook a6, I guess, and hold the rank laterally. It goes queen f3. Strange move. So 
go here. Let's go rook c8. Now I should be doing very well. I have e4. Um, let's just go. Um, yeah, let's go here and try to try to take this side of the board. A4 is also a move. I think B4 is a better move. Did I just blunder Queen G3? Shoot. <sighs> Why did I do that? I just blundered. Shoot. Crud. And I'm down on time as well somehow. So I have knight h6, queen g4, knight f6. Shoot, I have nothing good here. Let's go here. I gotta move fast. Just move fast and hope. He's got knight d6, which I missed too. I just threw this game completely. Oh, he hung c2, which I didn't take either. Goes g3. Wait, I gotta, I gotta move. Just have no time. How do I have no time here? I don't even understand it. Yeah, and this guy's literally not blundering either. I'm going to try to draw this, but the problem is the draw is not good enough either. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna have to go in. Wait, I have tricks here. Wow. Played this really well. Damn it. Yeah, he played this very well. I blundered the one pawn. I blundered the one pawn. That was my mistake. Blunder the one pawn. It's too slow. I panicked at the wrong moment. Yeah, I panicked at the wrong moment. D4 is winning instead of knight D7. Yeah, I mean, I was definitely better. I just, I just, I just flubbed that up. I blundered the pawn and then I just panicked. Basically, maybe I had some way right about yeah. Instead of instead of a uh, knight d7, d4, d4, bishop d2. I was just better. I just bl I blundered queen g3. That's all it is. I played b4 and blundered and then I just panicked immediately because I was too low on time. That was unfortunate. Very uh very unfortunate. But yeah, all right. Let's let's finish this out. At least try to win the last game and move on. But that's very disappointing because it was probably the best game that I played in the whole tournament objectively. From, from the start to this middle part. And then I just, yeah, I just blundered this move. Let me see what it says. Yeah, it's it's already good for me here. He missed it on one move. But yeah, and if I just go king h7 here, I'm fine. But I was already down on the clock. Yeah, if I just go king h7 and d4, I'm, I'm just fine. It was very unfortunate. But it wasn't meant to be. Why did I blunder? Because I, I was, I just missed queen g3. Or not that I missed queen g3. I didn't realize it hit two pawns. Yeah. His accuracy against Ali Reza was, was un, out of this world. I mean, 
You can click on analysis. I don't, I mean, I, I again, I'm not going to say anything, but let's see. What's his analysis? Or wait, where does it say? Wait. Let's see. 90.5. Okay. No, not crazy. But what'd you say is his, what was he against Ali Reza? Okay. Pr pretty, I mean, he's like 90% mostly, but he has a 73. I mean, I didn't think anything was weird, but um but again whatever obviously the ch oh wait it's my mo oh wait it's my move okay let's go um i don't think so i i, I mean I, I don't think so from what i saw because i had a good position i just blundered queen g3 and he didn't even see it on the fir first uh opportunity he had either but that's life okay let's go here oh right i'm way down on the clock here i might just play something weird i might just do oh wait i'm on the wrong scene sorry uh there we go let's go here yeah um i'm gonna do something weird I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this line this is not good by the way to be clear but i'm gonna do it because it's the last round I've, there's nothing really on the line so i might as well go go crazy can't i just take because of the the throbbing mate i think i can just take and go knight f3 so I guess I have knight g5 here to hit f7 and um should be should be pretty good thank you to Wesley strike for the prime ghost of starman for the tier one thank you so much appreciate it I can play 95. I also I feel like this is a very pleasant position for me if I play this correctly, which undoubtedly I won't. But I feel like I, it should be very pleasant somehow. I have this. How do I win this? 95, knight c6, bishop g5, queen f5. Oh right, he he's used a lot of time though, so I can actually start to think a little bit. I'm just gonna castle. I'm gonna go c3 maybe bishop g5 next move okay I don't want to trade so I'm gonna go here I'm like rookie one's my idea also have knight g5 a lot of threats I want to go here to stop this it's important that he can't develop this bishop so I, I want to cut this off first and then maybe I reroute somehow They need a chess beast for the seven months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So it was night before. He's trying to get very chippy here and attack, but I think it's not the right time for this. Do I have knight g5 here? I mean, I feel like I have, must have some way to win. I feel like there's something. I don't know what I have. I just want to gambit. I kind of want to gambit here and just go for something insane. Maybe just knight e5 and rook e5 or something. It's got to be really good somehow. Um, B2, B6 is no good. C3, Knight, C2 doesn't look right. <sighs> okay, let's go here. This looks right because I have Rook G4. Actually, Rook E4, I should have seen this move instantly. It's a very obvious move to go Rook G4. Actually, this might just be winning. I can't believe it took me that long to spot Rook E4. It's bad. I should have spotted it right away. Who is Sam Chesmood? It's uh, Sam. It's one of the uh, 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 not uh, sorry, one of the Armenians, not Azerbaijan. It's one of the Armenians. It's Sam. I don't know his last name. It's not Sam Shankland, of course, but maybe it's I don't know, like Sam Hofen. No, Hof that's Robert. I, I I don't know who it is at any rate. Okay, I'm just gonna play a three and kick the knight back. Oh, it's Samuel Teresahakian. Okay, okay, makes sense. I can obviously play d5 here. I can also go like c3. I mean, I should be doing very well, but I'm not quite feeling the rhythm of the, the game. Let's 
go here, and bishop c2 is my idea. Maybe d5 next move. I think d5 is fine here. It's probably a dubious move, but he's he's in really, really bad shape, because I also have b4 to trap the knight. It's going to trap the knight here. This knight is really in bad shape on the rim. It's very grim on the rim. Okay, b4 is knight c4, I guess. I, I mean, I'm tempted to play b4 and like h3. Maybe just do I do I have time to be very cute with h3? I think I do. I'm gonna be very weird. I'm gonna play h3 because he has to find a move. Because I'm still threatening b4, and it's very hard. Like he doesn't know what my threat is, but I don't know what his move is either. He goes c6, logical. I thought I had some rook g4. Or wait, no, I have rookie 2 to trap the queen. Oh, no, he's got bishop d3. Shoot, what am I doing? Let's go here. I have rookie 2. It's there. Um, let's go here. So I have rookie 2 and b5. Let's go here. Trap the juicer. Should be winning now. Weird game, but it's going to be a win. Yeah, I just resigned. We got the win. Back to thirty-two. Not so bad. Thank you to Quiggy B for the three months overwanger. Yeah, not not a good not a good event. But we tie for third. I don't I don't think there's prize money or no, we don't even tie for th third because Jagalko gets nine and a half too. But wow, so Ali Reza and Daniel also or wait, Ali Reza is still playing. Never mind. Okay, let's watch Ali Reza's game. Rookie eight. Yeah, Ali, no, Ali Reza is going to win and he's going to win the event. I think right. He gets to 10, doesn't he? Yeah, Ali Reza wins. Okay, so yeah, I'm not not that that unhappy. Uh okay, so Ali Reza wins and he wins the event with 10 points. So yeah, not not great, obviously. But all things considered, um, I'm I'm not that not that unhappy because it was obviously very rough trying to uh, trying to play with that fire alarm going off uh, for basically the first like hour and a half of this event. So it's what it is, not not that big of a deal.